Now, more sinkholes continue to open in the east and west rand. Residents of Gatlehong in particular say they fear for their lives. Some families in Mpanga and Skosana sections have already been relocated. Now, are these the results of inadequate rehabilitation of mining areas? Let's speak to um, Felix Okonta. He's a professor of geotechnical engineering at the University of Johannesburg. Prof, thank you very much uh, for your time here on ENCA. Are we on the right uh, path asking ourselves uh, whether or not these mining towns the fact that these uh, homes are in mining towns is why we find sinkholes in these particular areas yes thank you thank you very much and uh, thank you to the viewers yes the, the fact that you have sinkholes especially in some of those places in the west rand and the east rand uh, places that have got very high intensity of mining activity um, often often lead to sinkholes. And the, the, the reason is because of the fact that large amount of water, large amount of water is abstracted from the ground. Um, the mining activities, whether it is open pit mine or shaft, normally allow large amount of water to be moved. And therefore the water table, you, you, when you abstract large amount of water, you change the water table. And when you change the water table, it is one of those things that can trigger the formation of sinkholes. But it's not the only thing that tri tri triggers it. The, the other aspect that is unique to Eastland and Westland has got to do with the fact that the area is dominated by dolomites. Um, dolomitic rocks normally lead to sinkholes when they are withered and then when they are mixed, when they are mixed with water that come from mine tailings. So the, the, the East Rand and the West Rand is unique in so many ways with so many factors that are well established to cause sinkholes. So yes, you are in the right direction. Mm. All right, so what can people do to avoid uh, being victims? I mean, for some people, especially in areas such as your Katle home, that's the only home that they know and the only home that they, that they have. They cannot just simply pack their bags and go find a house somewhere else. Well, it, it's, a, it's a tragedy. There is no doubt that it's a tragedy. But, you know, in, in municipalities, the, the East Rand municipalities and the West Rand uh, municipalities that, that look after those areas, um, most of them know where to build and where not to build. The sinkhole is not new in South Africa. It's not new in Gautam pro, pro, province. And there are sinkhole hazard maps. Most municipalities have maps that that they have to enforce. They have to enforce um, where individuals should build and where they should not build. So we've, we've made the first mistake. Mm. And the first mistake is that people have been allowed to build in places that have very high intensity of sinkholes. Um, and, and therefore, it, it's, I mean, it, it, it's something that ought to have been avoided mm. through proper municipal law enforcement. Yeah, but Prof, um, you know, uh, what's worse for me is that in some of these areas, such as Yokatlehong, et cetera, it's not that people got there and just built. It's not to the case for, for, for all the areas. In some of these areas, these are government-built homes. Yes, I, I think that um, the, 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 the fact that, um, that, you know, that a road has to, for example, pass that you construct a road through a particular place or that the government built low-cost housing um, in a place, you would then have expected that all the necessary tests mm. um, would have been done, that they would have done all the necessary tests. Because be before you build a house, the minimum, the actual minimum is to do extensive um, geotechnical investigation, site investigation. Um, that ought to have been done. And therefore, you don't have to build a house in a place that, in the first place, you are not supposed to build a house. It does not matter I mean, I mean, whether it is a private house or whether it is built um, by, by government. The standard apply that you, you have to do standard site investigation. Mm. And it, it's, it's not done by private individuals, you know, I mean, poor people who have to build those low cost housing on their own, and it's not also done by the municipalities. The, the, the basis is still um, similar. 
it, by the time you have to build a house, you have to do a thorough site investigation to avoid you building in, building a house in a place where you, you wake up tomorrow and there's no house. Mm, mm. And I guess, you know, for some people, it's a matter of do you blame uh, the uh, apartheid government for some of the old houses that were built there and also the new government for some of the new houses that were built there. But uh, besides that, Doc, besides that whole argument, uh, I mean, Professor, besides that whole argument, what is the role of government anyway in mitigating the sinkholes now that we know they're there? Um, well, I think that the, 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 the government has to... I think they, they just have to enforce municipal laws. They have to enforce municipal laws because the, the cost to individuals and government, the cost is extensive. It's very extensive. The, 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 the government has to enforce the laws so that um, individuals, and including government them, themselves, should not build where they're not supposed to build. It, it's simple. Um, most of these places are mapped. They are well mapped. It, so it's not, it's not um, a case of um, something that, that is strange. Yes, it happened um, during the apartheid era. It's, mm. it's extensive abstraction of water um, in this area. You know, a lot of water has been abstracted. That's the first thing I said. The, sev the second thing is that the tailings, those mine tailings that were dropped, mm. um, have high... Um, high acidic content, and therefore, when they mix, when they mix in poor drainage areas that has got poor, poor drainage, you it triggers sinkhole. Yeah. So the drainage system, the, the drainage system there has to be top. It, it has to be well constructed and well maintained. Mm. Uh, that, that that is the first thing that the government has to, to do. The second thing that they have to to do is to be able to enforce the the basic um, um, laws. laws. They, yeah. Yes, they, they, they have to do, do, do that in order to ensure that people don't build where they're not supposed to build. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure that if they can do that, if they can take care of the two, yeah. you, you don't have surprises of people having to build houses where they're not supposed to. Mm. All right, Prof, thank you very much for your time. We've seen even when it comes to flooding how uh, our drainage system is in question in South Africa. But thank you for your expertise, Professor uh, Felix Oconta. He's a geotechnical engineering professor at the University of Johannesburg.